and so it continues to remain true. Today it is with a great deal of sadness that I acknowledge on behalf of myself and the citizens of Dover, Delaware, the retirement of my chief, Chief Marvin Maley. For two years it has been a pleasure to work on a daily basis as part of the team with the chief and the men and women of the Dover Police Department to make our city a safe place to live, work, and play. His leadership and guidance have lifted this department to higher levels of proficiency and service to the community and its citizens. Finally, I want to personally thank Chief Maley for his service to our community. Chief, I value you as our chief, but moreover, I value you as a friend, and I wish you and your family happiness and best wishes for the future. Chief Malley, if you'd like to say a few words, please. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'd like to thank you, members of city council, the officers, the men and women of the Dover Police Department, the citizens of Dover for supporting me these last few years. Uh, the job's not been easy. I just want to thank my wife, my family, my support system for being there whenever I needed them. And I felt like it was time to move on. Um, it's not an easy decision to make because we have such a great working relationship. But I've been in uh, service to the United States, the state of Delaware, city of Dover for over 30 years. Um, and it's just time. It's time. You, they always tell me, you know when it's time to go, and I knew it was time. So I do it with no regrets, no remorse. I think what we've done here as a city, and specific, specifically as a police department, has been great. Um, and I thank you for the opportunity. I thank City Council for the opportunity to lead this fine agency. And I just want everyone to know I'm leaving in my own choice. <laughs> uh, I'm not being asked to leave. I'm leaving because I want to leave. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, effective of May 17th, 2019, at 1600 hours, Deputy Chief Tim Stump will assume the responsibilities for the chain of command of the Dover Police Department, as specified in the department's general orders. Is there any questions? Any questions? Well, can you move a little bit closer to that? Um, I guess, Robin, um, the hiring process for the last two chiefs has not exactly gone completely smoothly. Um, there's legal action involved, mayor resigned. Um, you've got this new process coming up. What is it going to be any different? The new process is the one that we used to pick Chief Maley. It will stay in place. It will come about as we move forward after our budget process on council. It will be a smooth transition and we will find the best chief uh, to lead the Dover Police Department uh, in the vein that Chief Nelly has led the department. What, uh, what are you going to be doing as far as search candidates? We're going to be doing a nationwide canvas. Do you have any preference for any house or outside? We will pick the best chief that's available that comes across uh, via application to, to our uh, to the committee. Mayor, you said this is uh, going to be going on after the budget session, so after we can't expect session. anything as far as we a new chief expect until anything until the budget's completed, and uh, we have the opportunity to sit down for a first meeting uh, and uh, instruct the HR department to uh, advertise it nationwide. This will be after June first, then. Much after. Much, much after, after June. Much after the fiscal year 2020 starts. That's July then. Uh, I'd say more like September. Marvin, what are you most proud of being able to work on it with Dover Police? Because you were there for a while. Wow, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, the partnerships I've formed over the years, the people that I've met, the people that's touched my lives and I've touched their lives, that's what's, that's what's most important. That's, that would be the highlight of my career. I met so many people throughout, you know, just, just being in this position, just being a police officer. There's so many people I've met and so many lifelong friends I'll have. That's the great part. What's next? Well, I got to go clean out my garage and I'm playing golf this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, can, you, can you say anything about your future uh, employment status anywhere? No, that's private. Chief Mealy, do you have any advice for the future acting police chief that's going to take your place? 
I know Tim. I've known him for 25 years. He's one of my best friends. He's a great man. He's going to do a great job. Could we ask a question of uh, Major Stump? The question I have is... I think it's uh, not appropriate at this time we're dealing with Chief Mayor. Chief, when you arrived two years ago, uh, I believe there was a spate of gun violence and fortunately fatalities, and uh, we were all concerned about that. What did you do to address that? And I don't want to jinx a new crime <laughs> wave, but uh, uh, what were the keys to that? Well, we did a big push on gang violence. We knew that that was the origin of a lot of our shootings. Uh, so we, uh, we came up with a game plan and we attacked it. And uh, we have a plan in place through our uh, strategic plan for the organization that will help us keep gun violence down. Um, Major Stump, uh, Deputy Chief, uh, was key in drawing up that game plan for us. So we, we will continue to uh, execute the game plan we have in place. And you mentioned the job has been tough as well. What have been the toughest factors that have made this tough? Uh, the demand on myself personally, um, professionally. Um, I'm never off, for lack of a better term. When I'm on vacation, I still get text messages. I still get emails. I'm responsible for everything that goes on. The toughest part for me was losing uh, officers initially when I was deputy chief. That was hard. That, that was really hard. How do you respond to this? I've got a, a note here on my video. Chief Marvin Maley, you will be missed. <laughs> and I'll miss everyone too. That's, that's the hardest part about this. Every time I get a text message, every time I get an email, it's, it's very hard. What question? Actually, a statement. Uh, Chief, I want to thank you for your service. You've done a well job, extremely well job and I wish you the best in all your endeavors. You can hold your head up high, stick your chest out, and we thank you. On behalf of myself, 4th District City Council, Roy Southern, thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman Sola. I appreciate your support and everyone in the 4th District. Any other questions? I would ask uh, one thing as a matter of courtesy to uh, Chief Maley, that any questions that you have for the uh, Deputy Chief be held up until after the 17th of May at 1600 hours when he assumes via the chain of command the responsibilities of the Dover Police Department. I would ask that you respect uh, Chief Mayor's position until he retires. Robin, just briefly revisiting the issue of the search. Um, you know, revisiting what I mentioned earlier, the last two hires have been, they've had issues surrounding them. Yeah, I guess my question Only is... Only because people made issues out of the committee selection process which was put in place to save the city of Dover from having to pay out monies that we had to pay out before uh, by us doing it like we were uh, hiring the Mayberry Sheriff. And trust me, the process will work this time. We will follow that process, and we will hire the best person to be the chief of the Dover Police Department. But there is an active lawsuit right now, I believe. I am, we are disregarding that active lawsuit. That lawsuit will be handled by our insurance company and our attorneys. And we will press forward to do what needs to be done to continue to make the city of Dover a safe place to live, work, and play. If other people don't know how to handle the fact that they were not qualified for the position or not considered for the position, that's not our fault. But we will press forward and we will do a nationwide search to secure the best chief for the job to succeed one of the finest chiefs that the police department has ever had. Mayor, looking forward, uh what are some of the big pressing issues, crime and safety-wise, uh, and what would you like to see uh, addressed currently in Dover moving forward? I'd like to see us continue some of the policies that have been put in place by Chief Maley and the members of his department. I'd like to continue to see increased community support for our police officers. I think Chief Maley and the community policing unit, although it is down in personnel at this point in time, uh, that we continue that effort because uh, I think that he has fostered the fact that people who live in communities where crime takes place, that they have become part of the solution, not part of the problem. Uh, I think when Chief Maley took over, we had issues of people not being cooperative with the police, and people now realize through his efforts and the efforts of his community policing uh, unit that people are part and parcel. They are a strong arm of the Dover Police Department. And I 
hope to see that continue. Uh, we are going to address the issues that are, are uh, stressing out not only the city of Dover and our resources, guns, drugs, and now human trafficking, but this is problem is not unique to the city of Dover, but we are going to continue to press a, put a full foot press on those issues uh, as left a legacy by Chief Mayor and the members of his department. And with this being Dover, or Delaware's capital city, uh, do you feel a little bit of a responsibility to set a tone for the entire state being the uh, state capital city? I think we have to, and we will continue to do so because we don't want to turn into uh, have some of the issues that one of our sister cities in the state has. And uh, I don't want to make uh, my good friend who's the mayor of one of those cities angry with me, but uh, we're not, we are not going to put up with the issues that, that, that they have there. And I think it's a cooperative effort, once again, from our citizens and the Dover Police Department and the mayor and the council. How much are you going to miss having Marvin being able to call him and say, hey, you know, being able to reach out? I uh, I think he told me that uh, he's getting a different number when he retires. <laughs> of course, I have it. I have called him uh, all hours of the night to check on what's going on. He keeps me informed. I, I uh, touch touch base with him. The only upside of Chief Maley retiring is the fact that when he, he and I stood together, uh, I always looked a lot shorter than what I am. So uh, <laughs> that's the only upside of it. I will miss him uh, greatly. He and I are a great team, and uh, we, uh, we will miss him, and uh, he's done us a terrific job, and I think he's a chief that all of us can be proud of. Uh, do you have your press credentials? <laughs> Madam Page. Chief Mailey, on, yes. thank you, Mayor, for allowing me to speak. Chief Mailey, on the half of the IMA Social Action Commission and the community, I too, would like to thank you for your years of service. Um, you have served as well, professionalism. Um, you have connected with, with everyone, and we are definitely going to miss you, and we wish you well uh, on your next chapter of life. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Page. And one of my great honors is working with IMA on a lot of issues during our monthly meetings, um, updating you, you all on the police department and getting feedback from the community what kind of job we're doing. That will continue. That will continue. Uh, Major you. Stump is, uh, has attended meetings before when I've been on vacation and he will be an active participant uh, in IMA, so that will not falter. We, Dover Police Department will still be there. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have your press credentials? No. No, go ahead. How you doing? Thank you, Mayor. Um, just want to say uh, on behalf of um, most of the neighborhoods, I met with Marvin uh, Sunday as he received his award um, at the Rock Hope Church on Sunday. Uh, we had a minor discussion. Um, I'm going to try to get through this without crying as well because I, I see the There's emotions no in his face. There's no crying in the mayor's office. No, I broke that rule. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I look worse than Jeff Corbett. Had to take the camera, <laughs> <laughs> had to take the camera off of Marvin then. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just get to the point. Um, as I told you, Sunday, um, he's done a lot in his time as an officer and as chief for most of the neighborhoods. Uh, when anything ever went down, good or bad, he was there. Uh, he was one of those guys you could reach out and talk to, uh, share comments and situations with. Um, I said it to you on Sunday, and I say to you again, may you be well missed. Um, since Sunday, I've talked to a lot of the neighborhood people, you know, my age and up. You'll be missed, you were loved. Um, best of wishes going forward. Uh, we're gonna see each other many more times after the day. Uh, blessings to you, your family, and you know you know where I'm at, I know where you at, uh, you'll be missed. I don't know how many more ways to say it, but uh, take care. Thank you. And just know that all the neighborhoods that you made an impact on will thank miss you as well. Thank and you love you as well. This job thank you, good. Mayor, and thank you for allowing me to uh, speak. Thank you very much. And Mr. Stump, good luck as you take over for the time being. So as we wrap this up, I have to uh, leave because I have uh, to yes. be in Washington at the White House at 3 o'clock. Uh, let me say one last thing about Marvin Maley, Chief Marvin Maley. He is the gold standard. Thank you. I appreciate that. You've worked. It's been great.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Kay has 